Hey everyone, welcome back to another Fallout 76 video on the channel. In the last couple of days we got a new update for the Fallout 76 PTS which has brought in a few really good changes which should be helpful, one which is a bit questionable which I'm sure a lot of people won't be happy about and it also added in a new quest. Now this new quest is not like a quest that we've seen before and it's kind of like a little starting post for a bunch of many little events that you can do to build up a new currency and build up your own trading post. This is called a bump in the road and it's themed around the Blue Ridge Caravan Company. To start it you've got to go to the Stony Man Lookout Tower where you will find a body with a holotape. You listen to the holotape and this basically sets you off on a little quest which takes you down to a new location right at the bottom of the map called the Mile Zero Outpost. You can then go in there and speak with a new NPC called Marley who will set you off on doing a caravan to help them make some money but also kind of give you a bit of profit which then you can spend on doing up this little mini settlement. Now for me this is one of the most annoying quests that I think I've ever done as I crashed halfway through and it kind of messed up the quest markers and for some reason the quest markers just weren't working in general which was just something to top it all off. But it is in the PTS and there's a lot of testing going on so hopefully these will all get kind of squashed out and fixed by the time it gets released to, into the game. Now the actual caravan run itself was actually pretty fun, there was a lot of enemies, there was a lot of chaos and you got to defend one Brahmin which was quite hectic at points, especially when you're doing it solo. You get to fight lots of different creatures and enemies as you go through the little route and overall it was a pretty decent little event or quest, whatever you want to call it. Now when you complete this you'll go back to Marley and tell her that's all done and stuff and you'll be rewarded 100 supplies as well as 10 supplies for completing each caravan run. You can then spend these supplies at doing up this little settlement inside where you can buy a few different little merchants. You've got a gun merchant, a brahmin trader, a cryptid hunter, a decorator and an imported goods merchant. Each one of these will have their own little trade and setup I think and little bits and bobs. I haven't actually managed to buy them all yet because I've got to be honest guys the grind for this is extremely long. Like you've got 10 supplies per caravan run and it costs like 100 supplies per merchant. So I started off with a gun merchant hoping I could buy cheap ammo or get something worthwhile and when I actually went and invested his inventory it turns out it was actually not very good at all. You could buy bits of bobs of ammo but not a very good price and it wasn't really the ammo that I needed and you could only buy it in small amounts. I'm a bit 50-50 on this quest like update thing I've got to be honest. Part of me really wanted this to be a new kind of trading setup thing where you could set up your own caravan company in a sense of trading between players without having it linked to you being on your actual kind of on a server with your camp setup. Like I would have loved it to be like a open like trading platform where people could trade in between servers and stuff like that. That's something that a lot of people wanted but it turns out that's not the case and maybe isn't going to be coming. Instead we're getting this really short quest which literally contains one little mini quest where you collect a holotape and speak to Marley and then you just keep doing different caravan runs over and over again to build up your supplies to do up the settlement. I don't know maybe my experience is a little bit ruined by the crash and then all the issues I had but let me know in the comments what you think about this. Uh, are you happy about this little thing and I don't know like it is it's still very early days as to what's going on with this and whether it's going to be worthwhile to build up this trading now post or whether it's just a little side thing to get you grinding I'm not entirely sure but we'll have to wait and see. Now moving on to the other changes that came in with this PTS update one which I don't think a lot of people will be happy about is about eviction notice. There's been a little uh, note in the patch notes for this PTS update where they have reduced the legendary spawn rate for enemies in the event. Now this is one of the best events in the game for getting legendaries and especially with this new update and the way the new legendary crafting is going to work, it's going to be a bit a kicker than teeth in terms of grinding out legendaries. We need to get as many as we can to be able to craft the legendaries we want and this little change is not going to help. Now finishing on some positives, there is a couple of changes that's come in which is kind of like quality of life changes which should be quite helpful. When you go and inspect items now you can actually see whether or not they are a costume. This is really helpful in terms of events like the Mischief Knight which is returning in the next update and basically in this you will get extra rewards if you're wearing a costume given the fact it's a Halloween themed event. This though is a little bit kind of helpful thing just to tell you which one's a costume and which one isn't in case you get confused. 
Now another little quality of life change that's come in as well is in regards to weapons where now if you inspect a weapon it'll actually tell you what class it is. So I've had a lot of comments in the past of people asking what's a rifle, which one's a commando and stuff like that. Obviously if you've been playing the game a while you probably will just know just off looking at the mods and the fire rate and stuff like that. But if you're a new player you can now inspect these weapons and it'll tell you exactly under which category they fall. So whether it be a rifle, an energy weapon, a pistol, whatever Whatever it may be, a heavy gun, whatever you fancy, it'll tell you down at the bottom when you inspect it, as you can see on screen. That though, ladies and gentlemen, is all the main changes that's come in with this update. So, let me know what you think about these changes down in the comments below, and I'm really kind of interested to see what people think about this new quest. For me, it is very short. There is a lot of rewards to be had, which I shared in a previous video where I called it, I think, just all the rewards coming in with the next update. Uh, so definitely go check that out to have a little look. I have seen when Tonic did his video, he actually got one of them when he upgraded one of the vendors. I haven't been able to do that yet. It won't give me the option, and I haven't received any rewards yet. But better luck with you guys, hopefully. Anyways, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.